Secrets here, here to tell you how to stop your computer from typing in all caps. Have you ever had this issue where you go to open up your web browser and you start typing in all caps? Well, of course you have. We've all had that issue. Most of the time, it's as easy as unchecking caps lock on your keyboard and then you're good to go. But what about those times when doing that doesn't work and you're still typing in all caps? Well, here's the fix for these more nuanced issues. So the first thing we're going to want to do is see if sticky keys is enabled. What you're going to want to do is you're going to, going to go to your settings, go to ease of access, and scroll all the way down to keyboard. You're going to see that sticky keys is checked. Make sure to uncheck that. Also, make sure to remove this shortcut key to start sticky keys. Most of the time you're pressing shift five times and it's turning sticky keys on. So here's the first fix. But what if just disabling sticky keys doesn't work? Well, here's the last solution I have for you. And the entire reason I made this video is it took me forever to find the solution. You see, I own a Surface device. And when I patch my Surface, on rare occasions, it acts like I'm holding down the shift key. That means every time I open a program, it opens in a new window instead of the norm of minimizing and maximizing the program. Additionally, every letter I type will be capitalized unless I press caps lock. This is extremely annoying, as you guys can see. So to solve this issue, it's pretty simple. What you're going to want to do is open up the touch keyboard. So here's the touch keyboard right here. If you do not have the touch keyboard right over there, it's as simple as right clicking and then pressing the show touch keyboard button. Once you have that opened, you will see these two little raised arrows. These are the shift buttons. Press both of them down at the same time with both your fingers. And there you go, it's fixed. Just in case that doesn't work, change your keyboard layout to the full body one and make sure to hold down shift with both fingers and you're good to go. And that's the solution. Anyways, this should fix your issue. Thank you so very much for watching. This has been a Tech Rich video.